Hey folks, for this screencast, I'm gonna show you how to do a root locus in Python. So we're gonna import numpy as, as np. We're gonna import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. And then I'm gonna import a control as cdl. And um, I want to do, let's see, where do I wanna save this? I wanna save this in the controls folder, in the root locus folder and do um, example, YouTube root locus.py. And so I wanna do the root locus that I posted the other day. So here's the root locus video with zeros. So uh, let me see if I can just watch this real quick. Um, well, not watch it, but see the, see the problem. Oh gosh. Mute the audio. So let's see, so L is S plus three over S squared S plus 10. So what I wanna do is I wanna separate the S plus three just for kicks and I'm gonna make S plus three the, uh, actually I'm gonna make S plus three S plus 10 the compensator. So I'm gonna make that the control block. Okay, so basically I'm gonna make G my plant. Yeah, I'm just gonna make that one over S squared. So it's gonna be Cetal, um transfer function one and then one zero zero. And then I'm going to print G just to make sure we got it. So, oh yeah, I forgot. Sometimes it just kind of hangs on the import routine for some reason. So there's my plant. And uh, basically to do a root locus, it's, it's very simple. You just type in cetal, um, dot r locus of G. And what that basically does is it completes the loop and assumes that K is a plot. Oh, I think I have to do a plt.show. There you go. So there's there's my root locus. So basically what I'm looking at here, let me see if I can uh, blow this up. Yeah, okay, that looks good. So I have two poles at the origin, right? And if I, if I apply a gain to it and I increase that gain, these two poles are gonna shoot off to infinity, all right, right? And if you remember from the tricks, right? So there's, if you look at this side of the screen, the number of poles and zeros to the right, are zero and that's an even number and so there this is not part of the root, root locus if you go to the left side there are two to the right which is also even which means this is not part of the root locus the number of asymptotes in this case is two minus zero the number of poles minus zeros so there's two asymptotes and if you do 180 plus 360 l uh, over two you're going to get 90 plus 180 which is 90 and 270 and so those are the two asymptotes there uh, cool um I'll show you a couple more things in a second. So if I now create a compensator, and so let's just add this S plus 10 here. So I'm just gonna add a zero S plus 10. So I'm gonna do cetal transfer function um, one, and then uh, one comma 10. I'm gonna print uh, C, and there's my compensator C, and there's G there. Now in order to do the root locus with um, C in there, you have to cascade the blocks. So I have to do plt.figure, um, locus, and I'm gonna do c times g, which is gonna add the compensator in. And so now what you'll see when it comes up, oh, okay, uh, it looks like it makes a new figure no matter what. So I don't actually need to do plt.figure, so I can just do another rlocus. Looks like it's thinking. Okay, so here's here's what happens when you add a pole, right? You add a pole at negative 10. Um, what happens is, is that this is not part of the real axis because there's zero poles and zeros to the right. Over here, there are two poles and zeros to the right, so that's also not part of it. Over here, there are three poles and zeros to the right, which is odd, which means this whole section is part of the root locus. If you then look at the asymptotes, so the number of asymptotes is three. There are three asymptotes because it's number of poles minus zero. So it's three minus zero, which is three. And then the asymptotes themselves are um, 180 plus 360L over three. And 180 divided by three is 60. So you're gonna get positive 60, 180, and then 180 plus 60, which is 240, uh, which doesn't make sense. Am I doing my math wrong? 180 over three is, yeah, 60, right? 60, 120, so, oh, okay. But it's it's 180 plus 360. So see, 360 over three is 120. So it's 60 
60 plus 120 is 180. 180 plus uh, 120 is 300 degrees, which is the same thing as minus 60. So you've got two asymptotes that shoot off this way. So this is actually an unstable configuration, which is um, no good. Um, let's see. So now let's go and add the uh, S plus 3 in there. So I'm going to do comma 3. Actually, I'm going to do uh, C2 is cdl.tf 1 comma 3, 1 comma 10. And I'm going to print c2 to make sure that we're still still jiving and so there's my second compensator and then if i do i don't know why i have so much white space here i apologize so now if i do cdl.r locus of c2 times g now i'm actually going to have a zero in there on that um, root locus plot and that's this one here and this i think if i remember correctly let me go back to the youtube video um, yeah, there, there it is. That's exactly what we did um, in the YouTube video. So it, it shoots off this way and then comes up. And so if you look at that root locus plot, well, let's see. Nope. Try again. There we go. Yeah. So you've got two poles here. You've got a zero here. And so the this zero sort of uh, pulls these guys to the left. And so this pole over here at minus 10, instead of going off to minus infinity, it actually went to the zero. And then these came up this way. And so if you look at, if you compare this to the YouTube video. Um, I mean, that's, that's pretty close if you ask me. Uh, so this is a good way for you to check um, root locus in, in Python. Oh, and then I forgot this to, to tell you this really neat thing about uh, root locus is that you can actually click on the axis and it'll tell you the uh, poles um, that you've clicked. It'll tell you the gain and the damping ratio. And so, it seems, it seems like I clicked, I didn't actually click the axis itself. It looks like, yeah, I didn't actually click on the axis. Um, so if you just go to, if you click this button again, if you click on the axis, there you go. It'll tell you that with a gain equal to 0.674, my pole will be 0.821J. Um, and so you can kind of do that here too. Like if you want to see like, all right, what, what gain will give me this? And I need a gain of 253 to give me this closed loop uh, system here. Um, so that's kind of neat because you can sort of use that to tune. So if you have an unstable, if you have a potentially unstable system and you want to know like how much gain do I need to bring into the left half plane, this is a good way to uh, check that out. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and happy coding.